Hey, this is Dale Brisby, World's Greatest Bull Rider, here with Casey Fields, World's Greatest Bareback Rider. If you don't like, subscribe, and comment, then you ain't no cowboy. <laughs> that is because when he ran up, he pinched my leg, and I can still feel it, and it really hurt. <laughs> Off to Las Vegas. Me and my little lady going through St. George right now. Exciting. It's uh, gonna be a little bit different sitting in the stands, watching, but being a spectator. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited for the bareback riders. They're a bunch of tough competitors. Um, the next chapter of life, you know, what it's shaping up to be is fun. And coming down here um, with a little bit of a different mentality, I guess you could say. Um, it's gonna be fun. Me and Steph are gonna do some things that we've never been able to do before. We don't have some kids with us. So, it's gonna be a fun trip, adult trip. I'm gonna go and catch up with a lot of my friends, sign some autographs. I'll show you Las Vegas during the NFR. Kind of what I go through, how I do it. Thanks for coming. Got some of the sauce on it. River gonna run you down. What's your, what do you, what's like the number one thing for shaping hats to keep in mind? Thank you. Yeah, like don't oversteam it, don't take it too hard. Yeah. It's like, just like how they blend it, you know? So it goes like, every, it's almost like a piece of it. What's the area of this? Hi. Cold. Good seeing you. How are you? He's looking for the area. Hey, I'm looking for the area. area. I'm like, this is just weird. It is. I think I probably have 40 text messages. We don't even want to rodeo anymore. It's not the same. It's not. And last night was just. It was just different. You know. I told Chad, I think it's going to be like this. Like, we'll get used to it, but we won't have, like, this super excitement until, like, maybe an accident or one of the kids makes it or something. And then we'll have that excitement back. And then that's going to be, like, tenfold. Can you imagine? I can't. <laughs> All right. Here we are. War Bonnet Booth. Um, this is an awesome company. Come and check it out. Great hats. Great quality. And then Goldie Lou, the jewelry. So cute. Um, start signing right now and then go from War Bonnet over to Bucked Up. Today is just kind of give back to the fans day. Convention Center, me and my little lovely wife, Stephanie. Hello. She's hangry. We're gonna go and <laughs> we're gonna go and meet up with some friends over at the Palms, have some dinner, maybe a good steak, 
catch up on some good old times and then start it hard tomorrow. Uh, be signing for Ariat and Polaris. It'll be a fun day. I always like signing for these two brands. Um, follow along, show you a great night, great stories, great laughs. Now you finally got something to film. I'm sorry you've been having to make do with this poor bastard the whole time. I'm glad you can finally come out here and get some good footage. No? Okay. Well, I will take credit cards. No? Okay. Cool. Have a great night. One of the greatest bareback riders of all time is here with us. Casey Field, everybody, is joining us tonight. For all of you, the uh, wild man himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the world champion bull rider, Mr. J.B. Mooney, is here with us tonight as well. <laughs> Jackson's doing great. He's awesome. Okay, and he has a long way to go. He's a freshman in high school. He's doing so. He's better, better than my expectations. That's not, that's not what you were saying. I know, but I, he was about to start being hard on Jackson. I don't think he needed to be. He's lots of fights. Oh. I thought I was just going to Yeah, hug it out. I don't tell him. Okay, well, I'm just saying, I was asking, is he winning the war? Hey, unless you guys want to get in an argument with me, don't start. Weird, weird. It's not going to end. I haven't missed him miss like crazy, I'll be honest. Yeah. If you bring your traveling car. Who? For what? With my traveling car. <laughs> No, I ain't. <laughs> you mean my old travel partner? You're a, you're, yeah, yeah old we'll travel bring my old travel partner. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> See, he said he ain't my travel partner. He quit. Listen, I don't know what y'all used to do on the road, but we're not doing islands. We're not. I know. I'm just. We're doing it. We listen to books, educate ourselves. Never broke my heart. Got a diamond ring and football team. Tore this boy apart. I like a neon dream that just don't know me. Bars and this guitar. Long hair, guys, cold beer. Never broke my heart. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. But I 100% did. And then I met his little teacher. This egg school. came from a golden goose. Her name's Miss and that Christina. little sliver is actually 24 karat gold. And they're it's like, got a little, Christina, little right? leaf on Christina. there. And I met her. She's like, I just love him so much. I'm going to this out and sell it tomorrow. We'll pay for our dinner. I was like, I was like, I was like me too. Actually. I don't think that should go. I love you too. Why? I don't want to. It's your day, not my day. I'm going shopping. It's our day. We're here together. What do you it's want me to my say? show. Okay, We're what are you saying? What is, we are? Gosh. He's grumpy. I am not You're grumpy at all. Take it away. Casey today is going to Ariat Booth to do an interview, and I'm going shopping. Follow along. It's going to be super duper fun. <laughs> All right, so today I am going to be going over to the convention center, uh, doing an, a live interview with Jeff Metters, and then sign for Area for a little bit, and then up to Polaris. Um, two of my longest partnerships today, Polaris and Area. I've been with them for a long time. Um, really enjoy representing well, all my brands that I represent, but these two, Polaris. I uh, bought my first snowmobile, Polaris, in 1999. And then Ariat, I was a freshman in high school, and they sponsored the Utah High School Rodeo Association, and I got my first pair of ostrich quill boots my sophomore year. And it was like, 
kind of cool thing back then. So looking forward to today. Um, when I get done signing, we get to go to the night hockey game. And I get to ring the siren to start the second half and get a big jersey with my name on it and get to hang out, rub shoulders with those guys and then off to dinner to Javier's with some business associates. Um, look forward to today. Should be pretty busy, but look forward to it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I almost forgot to tell you, so don't forget to click it. How are you, my friend? Today? Appreciate it. Better go look at those Polaris, Mitch. They no, think enough mechanic to ride a Polaris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Shad's boy Bronx, they ride Skidoo. Uh -huh. It's never ending between me and uh, him. Sure. How are you? I know you're retired now. Yeah, it's nice you. to come out. Hold on, let me turn it down. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just hold that power button for a second. Hello, everybody. Glad you're with us uh, as we uh, get a chance to come to Ariat's booth here at the Cowboy Christmas and a uh, chance to visit with Casey Field, who uh, a lot of guys call the GOAT. What, what do you think when you're, when you're called GOAT? Nobody has uh, accomplished what you've been able to accomplish in Bearback Road. Um, so the GOAT's still kind of new to me. I don't know how to accept it. Uh, when I started out in my career, I wanted to be the best ever. Uh, now being retired, I, I hear it a little more. I hear some of my old competitors talk about it. Uh, but I really don't know uh, how to accept that yet, Jeff, or even how to explain what it feels like. But it's a very humble one. Why? Um, retirement, uh, I started talking about it two years ago. Um, there's things that are going on at home that I, I want to win at. Um, my family is growing really fast. My oldest daughter is 11 years old. There's been things that I've missed that uh, like I'll never have a chance to go and support her at again. Uh, my rodeo goes. Casey, one of the things I like about Casey is the way she's straight with you. So, uh, as we were getting into September, uh, I was, you know, wondering if Casey was going to make the national finals rodeo or not. Um, obviously, he'd be an amazing uh, addition to the national finals rodeo television crew. So I called Casey and said. Hey, if you don't make it, I got a job that doesn't pay quite as much over those 10 days, if you'd be interested in it. And it was a, no, I'm not ready for that. But I got to think eventually that that's got to be a possibility. You know, I do love the sport and, uh, you know, working with you is a lot of fun. Talking about it, um, I have a lot of knowledge in the sport, not just in the prayer back I've been growing up in the rodeo world. Um, I want to do a really good job and right now, you know, going to work right now, I don't have the ambition to sit down and do the homework about every competitor and know, you know, their background, how their year was, and, uh, but down the road. Snolz doesn't do any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I come back from an injury, um, you know, like I had my brain injury in March and I come back on the 4th of July. The first rodeo that I got to, I won it, but I, I didn't expect anything else. I put that amount of pressure on myself through my, my training. Um, that when I showed up, it, it was for real. This is this is a very important ride to me. This is gonna, you know, to the last few years that I came here, I didn't take any ibuprofen. I didn't use one bag of ice. But my preparation and the way that I got ready for the NFR was very intense. Never say can't. I'm a, that's not a word in my vocabulary. You got it. Yeah. Oh, Resiliency. Awesome. That says code. Every second can't. Never say can't. Never, never say you can't. Want to put that on there? Hashtag never say can't. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, is there a fucked up booth here? They got some drinks? Oh, 
We play Santa a lot of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Our elves are freaking creative. Six, six golden, golden buckles. buckles. Yeah, That's and then, ridiculous. so we'll do that all together, and then we're just gonna say six golden buckles because I'm gonna piece them all together. So I just okay. need two different versions. Oh, there you go. On to Polaris. They uh, got some sweet machines in here. I like, uh, I like all the companies I represent, but the toys that uh, Polaris, the, the toys that Polaris allow me to have uh, makes life at home pretty dang fun, especially winter time. Snowmobiling and then working, kids, whatever. Ranger, Razors, all of it. Great machine, great company. See you over there. Distracted, maybe I should say. Yeah. You're not distracted by something else. And as I'm talking to my youngest coming in here and I'm trying to look at my schedule and write down like what tomorrow. Hey, I heard you bought some land in my area. You didn't even call me or text me or anything. I told Alexis. I thought for sure. I thought we were getting together. Shay was like Sage and them were coming by, and I was like, okay, cool. Well, that was what I told Alexis, and I don't know. Did you at least come and sign the paperwork? Not yet. We close. <laughs> Thank you. You betcha. What are, how long are you? I fly out, or I drive home on Tuesday. We're up. Thanks, young cat. What's up, bud? What's up, bud? What's up, bud? What's up, bud? What's up, Sorry. This is a... 257. 257. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. How much are the tickets? 10 bucks. Yeah. Um, is there a deal like buy 20 for 100? 20 for 200. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. You're good. <laughs> now, Casey, would you mind holding the rifle? Are you ready? Because. Great day signing autographs today with uh, Polaris and Ariat International. And now had the honors Las Vegas events, uh, gifted me and me, Steph, and you guys tickets to come to the Knights game. Super excited. Uh, the rumor about this hockey game, it's more than a game, it's kind of a show. So looking forward to watching some competition, but also a great show. Uh, then off to dinner with E Hub. So keep you in the loop. This is freaking sweet, man. I'm excited. They also said that this time of the season, the guys are kind of agitated with each other and uh, picking on each other a little bit. Probably should see a pretty good scrap tonight. So uh, should be pretty good. If you haven't watched the movie Goon, I suggest it if you're ever going to a hockey game. It's a pretty good one. But good night pulling for the night, man. Woo, let's go. Yeah, okay, I like to do that. Is that your number number six? That's six world titles, man. Six world titles, baby. Six world titles, my man. This is great. Thank you so much. No problem, man. We're really uh, honored and really grateful that you guys made time for your schedule to come join us tonight's game. I don't know if you've been here to the next game. Here we go, hockey game.
Walker. Live, live. Dude, this is awesome. Alright, here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm, a, I'm now a fan of NHL. I've always loved it. Probably uh, the closest group to rodeo as far as fans, patriotic, and uh, the players were pretty rough. That is an awesome game. We're going to be coming back to the Golden Knights here in Las Vegas. Thanks, Las Vegas events, for the hookups. Let me ring the siren and bring my friends and my family. There's donut people. Just yesterday. Hello, how are you? Are you video? Yeah. Oh, it's video. <laughs> How's the family? So good. Yeah. Well, no. Are they out here? No. No. They're all crying. Oh. <laughs> You'll be home soon. When do you go back home? Uh, tomorrow morning. Nice. Praying for snow. Yep. Take the snowmobiles out? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. How are you, buddy? Oh my gosh. Can I just thank you? Thank you for taking it easy this year so I got to come and play. Gotcha. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what? Oh, how are you? Hi, Tim. Good. Excellent. Hello, Rich. Oh, you get the hug? I don't get one. You want the big hug? Yeah. Or the weak hug? He was actually in the middle. Hey, third day in Vegas signing autographs. In the bucked up booth right now. This is awesome. It's a company I'm proud to represent. Utah owned. Uh, Everybody that's involved with the company is great people. And then on top of that, they got great products. So come by, check out their products. It's awesome stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe. What's up, boy? <laughs> you ready? Now, now, brown cow? Unique? New York. I have Lindsay on with me, so if, if all things go south, I'll we just are. kick her. Um, and yeah, just like a wealth of knowledge and experience that you guys have had and memories that you've made over the years in this industry. So thank you so much. this to happen like this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Casey retires and you're like, okay, I guess we'll get to work. To the point where he just wasn't craving it as much, which scared me. I'm like, if you're not like ready to like get out the door and go kick some butt and yeah. you know, cause it's such a mental game sure. that I'm like, then stay home. Cause you're gonna get hurt. So, I mean, it, it definitely got to that point. So we were like, we were, we knew that it was coming. So, but we didn't know that it was gonna end the way that it ended. But I mean, God has a plan and we just have to trust in that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Absolutely. And now, I mean, you guys get to spend more time together and the kids all at home. What's up? What's up? How are you? Doing good. And it, I got some for you. So I can't shake it. Yeah. Thank you. It just, just never ends pro. with me. I need some Power Pro. Where? Where can I get the Power Pro?
so tonight was uh, the first rodeo I've been to after retirement. Hey, see you guys. Best of luck, LB. See you, Cody. Uh, first rodeo, and I haven't really been sad or missing it at all since I've decided to retire. And during the bareback ride, and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit different. And not quite empty, but definitely a sadness there. But everybody else seeing my friends, watching the rodeo, it was awesome. I really enjoyed the night tonight. Keep up, we're gonna go to dinner. Uh, and then head home tomorrow, back to the land of beautiful Utah. All right, well, that's a wrap on our Vegas trip. Thank you for Me and my little lovely lady, Stephanie. We are on our way home, excited to be back with our kids and in our own beds. Five hour quick drive back to the land of beautiful Utah. It's fun to catch up with some friends. Thanks for stopping by. Go and sign some autographs, see some fans. I uh, felt a lot of support. Uh, People were happy for me with my retirement. It's just a fun trip, fun little getaway. And watching the NFR and all the bareback riders ride real good, and all the bucking horses was a lot of fun. Seen some people I haven't seen in a long time. So all in all, very happy with our trip. Probably gotta stop to get fuel one more time and stop and eat. Show you the way. Who's that guy? I don't know, I don't know what to say. He's retired now, man. Filming me out here.